I'm Daniela, and this is Dulce, <laughs> and this is Mambo. Dulce is 11 years old, and Mambo is 10. They're actually a brother and sister. Dulce is very, as you could tell, very energetic. She loves to be around people. Mambo is completely the opposite. He's more laid back. His personality is more quiet and calm. He thinks actually he's a lap dog. <laughs> So first, my sister, she actually feeds her dogs, uh, just food for dogs, and she heard through her bed. And then once I talked to my vet about uh, switching to more like a homemade meal, we were uh, doing a, a dry, dry kibble. And so we did the switch right after Mambo had his liver cancer. That was kind of like a, you know, like a wake up call to me that, okay, food has to do a lot with humans when we get sick, you know, to get better. You know, it's the same thing for our, our pets. But my main concern was always to know that the dogs were going to get the right nutrients, especially for their bones and, you know, they're growing older. So you want to maintain that. So that's when I decided to start just food for dogs. I do the DIY. We actually, they love the turkey and macaroni. That's their favorite thing. I mean, as soon as I start cooking it, they're both are like right there waiting for it. <laughs> One of the things that I notice is um, a lot of people compliment their their shiny furs. They shed less, you know, for a golden retriever. Usually that's one of the big things, but they shed less. Mapo's test, you know, he had he had a blood test after six months of his cancer and all his levels, his ALT, everything was completely fine. All went back to normal, you know, and so the doctor was, the vet was very happy to see that. For a while, we tried Mambo to lose weight. He used to weigh 94 pounds before he went on the surgery. Now he's weighing 77 pounds, which, you know, is perfect. They have more energy. I mean, like these dogs, <laughs> We walk every morning at least for a couple miles, but when we come home, they, they're just ready to play again. They are doing so good health-wise. You know, sometimes, like I said, even with the dry food and the dry kibble, sometimes they will get sick, sensitive stomachs. So just seeing them that they're healthy, they're happy, they look forward for their meals. You know, I, that, that makes me feel really good. And for me, it's just a peace of mind. I know what's in the food, I know what I'm putting in it, it's fresh, you know, I know that they're getting the right nutrition and vitamins, uh, so it's just really peace of mind. I used to always wonder, I feel giving them the right food and I will always Google it, you know, like, is there anything else better for them? Until, you know, I just found just with their dogs and I have to say I'm happy, I'm happy.